So if you're new to the community, let's battle. Oh, no. No, no. Um, they'll come after the community. So we don't only focus on one individual. We like to bring awareness to as many as possible. Yeah, we talked about Carol Sue. So today, our focus is rabbit squirrel. R-A-B-I-D, squirrel. Yeah, rabbit squirrel. You're new and you're trying to learn? Okay, so we don't focus on just one. We try to cover as many of the dry beggars, beggars, and scammers. So, with that being said, let me let me also throw this out there. Yeah, Santa's not a elf. If you're begging, dry begging, and scamming on TikTok, we will put a folder together for you. And, and this Christmas, this Christmas, we uh, for the beggars and dry beggars and scammers of TikTok. We're handing out folders with files out to the, the beggars, dry beggars, and scammers. We are doing that. I don't give two hoots, two holler. If they don't like it, oh well. They shouldn't be begging and dry begging and scamming on TikTok. We're barely getting started. We, we are barely getting started. So yes, we are handing out. Aired successfully. Sorry, I'm over here making sure I'm getting my <laughs> stuff together. Uh, we are handing out folders and files for Christmas. Uh, uh, that's just the way it's going to work. And if they don't like it, then they need to get off of social media and quit begging. And, and I'm just getting some things together, everybody. You sent me a message? Okay. I, I will get to, to messages. I will get to them. Give me one second. I'm trying to grab something. Okay. I, I'm just getting some things together over here. Now, like I said, we will be uh, covering rabbit squirrel. That's what we are going to do today. So, yeah, he got his folder. Okay. Let's get into this. Let me, let me grab... Let me grab his picture. Where is... Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah, yeah. Another thing I was going to address. I got an email last night after last night's uh, live stream. Hold on, everybody. This dog. So I did get an email last night after the live stream. If we are bringing awareness about you, and you don't come get in a box. Don't message me. Because obviously you're watching. Don't message me. And tell me you haven't heard my side of the story. I do not want to hear about it. Because obviously they were watching. But then they have the audacity to come or to send an email. So if you, if you are watching and you don't come and say, you haven't heard my side of the story, I don't know what to tell you. I guess it sucks to be you. I don't want to hear it. It sucks to be them. Because it doesn't bother me. And good morning, everybody. So if they're watching, 
You've been watching him? Yeah, a lot of people have their eyes on this guy. No, he's in a motel room. He's not actually homeless. No, he, uh, Dave has not emailed me. We were not talking about... Uh, we're not talking about uh, uh, Dave or Kiki. Because we were, we were covering a whole different person last night. What, what, what did he do? He's begging on TikTok and lying to everybody. We're about to get into this, everybody. And like I said, for Christmas... I'm handing out folders. That's what I'm doing. I don't care. At the end of the day, uh, I'm going to be like Oprah. But I'm, I'm not going to be uh, giving out cars or anything like that. We are going to be handing out folders and files. We don't have time to be continuously dealing with these beggars and scammers of TikTok. So I'm going to be handing out folders and here. I even got a song for that. Dashing through the snow <laughs> in a one horse open sleigh. For the friends we go, laughing all the way. I, I had to do that. <laughs> they make our spirits bright. You get a folder. You get a folder. Everybody gets a folder. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. All right, all right, all right. All right. That's what they get for, for Christmas. Folders. I don't care. Trying to get in the holiday spirit anyways. All right. Uh, KK, would, would you like to grab a box? Because KK has been bringing some awareness. Uh, we're barely about to get started. So good morning, everybody. Good morning. Yes, we, we bring awareness on true knowledge. We've done it plenty of times. But this is Rabbit Squirrel, also known as David Pets. Okay, KK. So I'll bring KK up in a box. She's been bringing awareness. She'll give us a rundown of what she's been uh, talking about on her live streams. Because KK does bring awareness as well on her platform. You've been watching David for a minute. Yeah, I, I mean... The lies are crazy. The, the the lies that this guy spews is beyond ridiculous. I was able to pull up a court case from his child support. So I was able to pull up that. And then I was sent a bunch of other things. Um... So I remember when I first started seeing Rabbit Squirrel get on the live stream, he was outside. Yeah, Angie, he, he does throw some weird vibes out there, but he, he lies about a lot of what he's talking about. He knows how to manipulate women. I guarantee you th this guy is a smooth operator. He knows how to smooth talk women because they are buying him hundreds of subs. They have purchased hundreds of subs for him to hand out. Okay. What happened, Miss Homie? Yeah, they they hand out. They give out subs to people that don't even ask for them. He's one of these guys right here. He should start playing this song. Maybe he should play this song because this is what he does. Because this is what he does. <laughs> he's a smooth operator. He's a smooth operator. Smooth operator. <laughs> That's David. That's Rabbit Squirrel. That look. 
If I have a song for something, for somebody, that's Rabbit Squirrel song. I know, this is some wake up in the morning, get your coffee going, and uh, if you're at work. Yeah, there's a, a funky cold. There is a lot of gullible woman on social media. Let's call her for what it is. I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and sugarcoat anything. Why am I going to sugarcoat anything? If, I'm gonna, if I sugarcoat anything, it's going to be sugar cookies. That's about it. That's the only thing I'm going to sugarcoat is some cookies, some sugar cookies. But I'm not going to sugarcoat about what is said. The only sub you want is from Subway, Grandpa from Tampa. I hear you. But I, I'm not here to either. We're going to keep it 100. We're going to stand 10 toes down on what we say. We're going to keep it a buck, whatever, however you want to <clears throat> use the saying. You like sugar cookies, Monica? A lot of people do. But I'm not going to sit here and beat around the bush. Maybe you can sit all night and live for free. Yeah, Gino, maybe not. Maybe not. There is a lot of gullible women. And, and you know what the sad part about it is? You call dibs on the sugar cookies tin. There you go, calling the BS. We use those sugar cookie tins for uh, sewing materials. <laughs> hey, with your wife, Queen. Uh, queen. Uh, we use those tins to put uh, sewing materials in. He just started showing up on your FYP. So, so here's the problem. With so many gullible individuals, it is crazy. Or you... You were wondering when somebody's, yeah. It's important to bring awareness to this guy. And the sad part is, there's a lot of elderly women as well. There's a lot of uh, elderly women that are lonely. And they think they're making a friend on TikTok making a friend with, with rabbit squirrel. That's not even the case. This guy will use you and abuse you and kick you to the curb as quick as he uh, found you. Why do I have my gifts turned off? I, I remember to turn them off. People always ask that. Why do you have your gifts turned off? I don't do this for money. Unlike rabbit squirrel, I don't do this for money. And here, let me play a video for you. Let me see. Oh, I forgot to download his own video. But let me do this. Unlike Rabbit Squirrel, I don't, uh, we don't bring awareness to make money. No, Rebuilding Atlantis, I'm, I'm, I'm building a folder for building at, Rebuilding Atlantis. So he's trying to rebuild Atlantis, that, that account, but I'm building an, a, a folder for that, that individual. So let me see. Where's this guy's video where he's talking some nonsense? Oh, I got it right here, I believe. Let's see what let's see what Rabbit's, Rabbit Squirrel has to say. Good evening, everybody. I'm just making this video to let you know I'm going to go live here in a minute, and there are a lot of benefits for being a really good part of our group. A lot of good people in there. You can always sub. It's the best way to help support me long term. Uh, if you want to, awesome. If not, just hang out and chat. Thanks. Good evening, everybody. I'm just making this video to let you know I'm going to go live here in a minute, and there are a lot of benefits for being a really good part of our group. I want to know what the benefits are. That, that, that's what I'm trying to figure out. What are the benefits of being a subscriber? Of rabbit squirrel. What are the benefits uh, of what? Him, you sending him PAs uh, of you sending him money of you buying subscriptions for other people for him? Hey, KK. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Do you know what his benefits are by any chance? Because I just played his own video where there's benefits if you are a subscriber to him. Uh, no, I don't. Like, you could, I guess you could chat when, the, when it's sub only. Um, I don't know. I think he might have it. I think I heard him say he might have a Discord. Um, he does. So, 
Okay, so maybe getting in the Discord. But I still don't see that as being a, a, a benefit. You know, me neither. I think it's just another way for him to um, con people, to draw people in. Yeah, manipulate. Oh, yeah, and, definitely. And, and con more people like the lady that got him the scooter. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. And then also 200 subs the same day, I believe. From the same from the same lady, Heather? From the same lady. The same day, the same lady. Absolutely. So a $1,600 scooter. And then on top of that, 200 subs. Do the math. Depending on uh, uh, what is it? Do you know what his sub subscriber fee is? Um, I can. Oh, they said 500. Uh, the, the, uh, I heard about the 500 uh, subscri uh, subscribers as well. Somebody bought 500, 500 subscriptions. They did. I, yes, they did. Um, but I, I know said, that. I don't know if it was that same night, but I do know um, the scooter and the 200 subs were bought like the same night. And then also regarding that scooter, um, last night he was he was in the he was something and he was on live on the scooter while inebriated or hungover uh, or something. Cal said Pangea sent 550 subscriptions. That is wild. Mm -hmm. How are you going to pay for five? How are you going to pay for 550 subscriptions? And, and then get him a. Uh, and then he gets a, a, a scooter. That that is wild. Man, that's it. I'll, I'll go on subscriber only. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody sent me a thousand subscriptions immediately. <laughs> I'm just messing around, everybody. I'm just messing around. Don't come after me. I know somebody recorded that, and they're going to come after me. They are going to come Oh, my goodness. Me. Uh, don't come after me, please. They're going to clip that. They're going to be like, he's asking for subs. Look, I don't have <laughs> subscriptions. I, I, I just don't. Um, but 550 subscriptions is crazy. Yes. And then yes. the scooter. And then, then you said he, he was completely wasted last night, huh? Oh, yeah. He was – something was going on with him last night. Um, and I – because I've never seen him like that before. But, of course, yesterday was payday. So, uh, he was – I don't know. He was on something. James and Pina said – Hoes, get this. Before he blocked me yesterday, he said he didn't care about my gift badge anymore. Oh, so at one point he cared about your gifting badge. And then then all of a sudden yesterday he got upset and said, you know what? I don't I don't care about your gifting badge. Oh, yeah, he was being a huge jerk. I mean, honestly, he's, he's always a huge jerk, in my opinion. He's very manipulative, very um, I don't want to like diagnose him but he, he's very narcissistic very narcissistic and i mean he's literally getting everything paid for yeah i did oh, okay uh no words uh i i just wanted to say that i was in that live uh -huh. and that, that person actually came back in and gave more so that person actually because what he kept doing was upping the subs so every time someone went, every time that person did like 200 and then 200 more people came in, they gifted the rest. Everybody that was basically in that live, it went up to over 600. So I know for a fact they gifted over 600. And then people that were in there that got some also then were gifting out subs. So that one person, Pangeo, I forget what the name was, um, literally gifted over 600. I know he's up to seven something now. And then he gets paid out on the 14th. But if you listen to that video that you just played, yeah. I'm pretty sure he says that's the, if you want to come in, um, um, uh, sub, it. the subbing yeah. is the best way to help me. I think if and you listen to it again, he says that the subs help him because he gets paid out on the 14th and they did it during a subway. So he gets an extra 30% on top of that. So it was $2 and 39 cents that that person paid for each one of those subs. It was over 600. Then he got a 30% bonus for every time they hit the subway and he got that several times. So he's about to be paid out close to over a thousand dollars on the 14th because subs get paid on the 14th. And, and I'll, I'll play that video again right now. 
Evening, everybody. I'm just making this video to let you know I'm going to go live here in a minute, and there are a lot of benefits for being a really good part of our group. A lot of good people in there. You can always sub. It's the best way to help support me long term. Uh, if you want to, uh, he says the best it. way to help support me long term. Yeah, that's what exactly a right. Complete bum. Complete bum. I wasn't sure if you heard that the first time, so that's the only reason I came up here. So that's the way to support him because he knows that that's money every month if people keep subbing and keep doing that monthly rate and uh, i will ask you the same thing i asked kk in your eyes what are the benefits to subscribing to him what are the benefits that he's talking about nothing but to hear the same story over and over and over again <laughs> Thank you, no words. Uh, uh, thank you for coming in a box. Uh, thank you. I, I, I'm asking the question to everybody. All right, you thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. That is a serious question. What are the benefits to subscribing to him? Go ahead, KK. I mean, I just seen someone in the in the comments say you get stickers. <laughs> Sticker, like, <laughs> do they send the stickers to your house? Do you get like, you know, how your kids come home with 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 books from schools? or uh from the book fairs or whatever and they send you uh physical stickers do you get stickers sent home with you do, do, does he mail you a book of stickers <laughs> oh my goodness i would <laughs> no i would not be comfortable giving him my address never <laughs> never yeah i know i look i know it's stickers in the chat Look, if I don't laugh at certain things, if I don't laugh It'll at drive you things, crazy. Yeah. So I know, look, I know it's stickers in the comment section. Yeah, the, the emotes, the emojis. I, I get it. I know. We see this all the time. Yeah, you're right, Jules. We'll just go to the dollar store and we'll buy our own stickers for a dollar. For 99 or a dollar and a quarter. Go ahead, KK. <laughs> um uh, but yeah, he, um, I mean, he's just, he's very manipulative. Um, I actually, he wasn't even on my radar until someone had messaged me. And I'll tell you right now, all the information that I have received and, you know, given to you and handed out has been information that these people on Reddit, so they started off with just a post about a little over two weeks ago, just a post about him and like the TikTok beggar page on Reddit. And then they had many responses and many replies and his stories just weren't adding up. So they went ahead and just made a whole entire Reddit just for him to kind of keep up with his lies. Um, and there's several pages that have been keeping up with like his enablers and, um, and uh, just his lies. Um, Tiffany, I mean, yes, some of his story is legit. So he was um, in the, uh, he did go to the Marine Corps, I believe. Um, but, so I just read this right now. He's, it says he claims he graduated boot camp in 2003. So that's no less than what, a four, four year contract, but he was arrested in 2004, charged and convicted in 2005, more charges in 2006, 2007. He was sentenced in 2008. So, um, oh, also, so I know a lot of you probably seen, well, maybe seen his post. Um, he has like a Marine sword um, that he has included in several of his photos in his quote unquote storage space. Um, that's not even his. After being questioned about it several times, um, he, he finally said that it was his friends. That one? Yeah, that one right there. That's his friends that he's holding on to um, that has PTSD is what he said. Yes, Jerry. See, we come with receipts. And, and please remember, these people lie so much uh, about a lot of what they talk about, especially Mr. Rabbit Squirrel, that they put stuff on their own uh, TikTok account or social media. And um, we go and we snatch it up. Th that's what we do. We go and we snatch everything up because at the end of the rent, uh, at the end of the day, they put it out there and we take it. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, they tell on themselves. themselves. They absolutely tell on themselves. And he's he's given several different um, explanations as to what's happened with the house. It's gradually 
kind of shifted little bits and pieces or he'll add extra information when he's telling the story. But overall, like the story with the whole house, because he claims the house was taken from him. Um, he had, he was forced to move out. Um, and essentially he was like squatting there until they forced him. He, he wasn't making the payments, but he claims he's made all these payments and then they just, um, Oh, are you going to play it? Yeah, uh, somebody said he just joined the live. I think it said, well, if he if he's in here, he can request a box. But I'm about to play out of his own mouth what he said, which makes no sense. I'm about to play it. What's my story, T Um I'll give you a very long story short. The full detailed story is actually on my profile uh, in, uh, I guess, right below my bio. Uh, long story short, back in 2018, my mother and I purchased a home for me and my family uh, at that time. Unfortunately, she passed away in 2022, four years after that. Um, during me doing the probate process to remove her name off of the mortgage, uh, my mortgage was sold from Cornerstone Lending to Mr. Cooper, and Mr. Cooper sold the deed out from under me before I was able to complete the probate process. And here I am. Let me say this. That story, bring, bring some receipts. Bring some receipts about this story that you're talking about, Mr. Rabbit Squirrel, because none of it makes sense. Yeah, I know he has a court date November 12th. Go ahead, KK. Well, and, the, and the thing is, if, if he had proof, so if he made those payments out of his bank account, or if he made those payments at all, if they're electronic in any way, there's going to be proof of that. There's going to be proof. So, you know, why did he not show that proof? Why did he let himself, why did he let himself get kicked out? It, yeah. just, it really doesn't make sense. It does not make sense at all. Like I understand things, crazy things happen sometimes. A hundred percent crazy things happen sometimes, but for them to lose several payments, several, mm -mm, no, absolutely not. They said the house was sold to auction. February 6, 2024. That means he was not making payments. He was not he, he was not making payments at all. You know, uh, he he got used to living off of uh, mommy and daddy. And, and when they finally passed away, he he just didn't take care of what he what he had to as a grown adult. It was sold for non-payment. That's what I'm talking about. You, you can't live off of mom and dad your entire life. And then when they do go, unfortunately, when they pass away, you have to be a, a grown adult. You're, you're not a boy anymore. You're, you're, you're not, you're not a baby. They're not, they're not around to hold your hand anymore. So man up and do what you're supposed to, because obviously here you are begging on TikTok and, and scamming people out of money. Let me put his picture back up. That way people know who we're talking about. And so he does have a domestic violence slash battery charge. A whole and a personal... Go ahead. No, uh, uh, the floor is yours, KK. Oh, sorry. Um, so he does have a domestic violence slash battery charge and a personal protection order for a Jane Doe. Um, it's probably for his ex-wife. And I do believe um, Texas Tiff, I think, spoke with her. Um, she had gone over that briefly in my the live stream that I did streaming him the other day uh, just to try to get more eyes on him. Um, but he completed a diversion program for abusers and then the charges were uh, dismissed. He attended two therapeutic meetings, according to I-Court. Um, he has numerous disturbing the peace charges with tracks with his violent behavior. He was carrying a concealed weapon, um, a felony, found guilty. Oh my gosh, my cat is right over me. Get out of here, girl. Was he, he was found, found guilty, guilty on that, KK? Yes, um, of August of 2023, and those are the main charges, and only out of Idaho. Um, he's he's also lived in California, and he does have a few things from California. I was only able to pull up certain things. Um, I assume just the things that were public and didn't concern, like um, like the protection order and stuff like that. But he has several 
He has so he's several a, violent. So charges. he has a felony. Uh, so you said that he has a felony. Yes, that, allegedly, and and he's constantly bragging about um, how he, he has, has a pew. A pew, right? pew. Yeah, yes. they 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 uh, they talk. I've been hearing a lot about that. That uh, that he talks a lot about having a pew pew, and if you're a convicted felon, you cannot have any firearms whatsoever. You cannot have a firearm if you are a convicted felon. They catch you with that firearm, you're, you're going to prison there, buddy. Yeah, he does talk well, about scam opera. Go ahead, Katie. And if someone, if someone were to contact his PO and like let them, and I'm not saying to contact his PO, please don't take it that way, chat. But if someone were to contact his PO and tell them that he's been, you know, admitting that he has a pew pew then that could be like a huge deal i'm sorry caramel i'm so sorry caramel I, just, I just a quick second that. yeah I, I, I so her that. house had burned down i'm sorry to hear that that is uh sending prayers your way oh my goodness oh see there's people dealing with with real life situations Look, with David Pets, huh, with, with David Pets, and, and this goes for all the scammers and beggars out there that could get off their ASS and go to work. This guy, this guy doesn't want to go to work. Hey, Jay, how long have you been on the couch? You talked to one of his friends. Oh, uh, did you talk to one of his friends, KK? Oh, yes. Okay, so one of his friends, and actually here in a minute, I'm going to go check my YouTube chat because I am streaming this to YouTube because uh, several people are like, oh, no, I have to work. But one of his friends, Martin, I believe is what his name was in, in the chat, has known him online for roughly like five years. Um, yes, the job thing is fake, 100%. It's fake, um, but he's known him for about five years online. He gamed with him constantly. Um, and then even back then, he would just kind of sit at home and like play games all day while his wife, um, well, now his going, soon to be ex-wife, went and um, worked. And he was always on the games. Like he would play with his, I don't like to bring kids, but he would play with his child um, online. But then he would just ignore them and just play video games all the time all the time instead of instead of going to work yes instead of going to work and he even he even mentioned that he talked to him on several occasions and i guess he would hear some stuff going on in the background and he'd just be like dude you know just go go spend time with your family go spend time with your family and he just he didn't care so i, did I did not get, care to. so i did get messages I, i'm not going to disclose any names because if they ask me, please do not disclose my TikTok username or my name or whether it's an email or whether it's through TikTok messages, I will not disclose any names. I did receive messages. They said that uh, they have worked for O'Reilly's where he claims that he works. Uh, and they have connections at O'Reilly's and they, they contacted uh, some people to gather some information to see if he works there. No, he does not work there. Th that's a complete bogus story that he, that he, uh, has told people. So no, um, he, he does not have a job at O'Reilly's and he's nowhere in the system. They looked him up. So no, he, he does not work at O'Reilly's. They don't have him in the system at O'Reilly's. The whole story that he's given everybody uh, is a bunch of nonsense. As a matter of fact, they are looking at getting them trespassed off uh, all of O'Reilly's properties. That's what they're looking at right now. So Mr. David Pitts, you are being forewarned. Stay away from O'Reilly's because you're not you're not working there, this whole bogus story, and they are looking at getting you trespassed off all O'Reilly's properties because you're being a clown. I'm just putting that warning out there for you, Mr. Rabbit Squirrel David Pets. Quit using that story. Hey, Morgan. That you work for O'Reilly's because you're about to be trespassed off their properties. I'm giving you a fair warning. Stay away from O'Reilly's. They want nothing to do with you.
I'm going to call it for what it is. Like I said, I'm not here to sugarcoat a darn thing. Go ahead, KK. I mean, yeah, just to kind of piggyback off of what you said, um, you know, and he was posting. Now, I, I do believe that he did um, apply apply yeah. for the job but i think honestly it was just for the paper like for the screenshots that he could post saying like yes i did get i i'm getting hired and so you know so people would get off his back yeah yeah he didn't pass the background check you're right uh uh sherry or sherry he didn't pass the background check but he's running with the story and kk is right kk is 100 percent right um because he did it that way he could try to say, well, yes, I got a job, yada, yada. No, they, they, they're looking at trespassing him. That, uh, that is information, legit information. So I don't know um, what to tell him. He needs to stay away from O'Reilly's, quit bringing O'Reilly's up because he's being a whole clown. And yes, I'm starting to call these beggars and dry beggars clowns. I don't, you know, if people take it the wrong way, my apologies, but uh, I'm just tired of them. So go ahead, KK. Um, uh, and then to kind of, you know, go back a, a little while, a little while ago. Um, so someone, a really nice, kind lady, um, you're welcome, Cal, had drove three hours to bring him a tent. Um, and then I just want to clarify that lady specifically because there was a lot of talk. Um, nothing happened with him and her. He, she was just a nice lady. And she said that she um, felt bad for him. She brought him food um, and then he asked her to drive him so many different locations and she did because she felt bad. Um, and then she had dropped him off at the Airbnb that his followers paid for. Um, so I just wanted to clear that up. Someone did go out of their way and do something super nice for him. And of course, you know, with anybody, you know, people are going to talk. Um, so she didn't sleep with him. Nothing happened. She's just a nice lady. Um, tried to help him but this was a while ago he did ask for a hug which kind of <laughs> which kind of made the situation even more awkward is yeah abby um he did ask her for a hug he drove her uh she drove him around all day um look let, let me put this out there i don't know how many times and, and kk could attest to this how many times have we told young ladies or anybody in general, do not go out and meet with people off of TikTok or social media. It is very dangerous. Once again, louder for the ones in the back. If you meet somebody on social media, just don't go out there and meet with them, take them places. It is very dangerous. You don't know exactly who you're meeting with. For the love of Jesus Cristo. Go ahead, KK. Oh, and so then another thing. Um, so he so he always, you know, says that he has a pew pew on him and whatnot. Well, he was in um a twenty year old something's car. I don't know if it's that same woman that had brought him the tent or not. Um I couldn't like put two and two together with that. But um allegedly he had the pew pew on him uh, while he was inside that, that young lady's car and didn't even tell her. So that just goes to like, if I were to, if I was to bring a pew pew with me, I, I, I would tell the person that I'm with, especially because if he's, well, he, not if he's a felon. So if she would have got pulled over, that could have ended so different. Tent girl, Abby. Okay. So it was her. Um, if he would, if they would have got pulled over, that could have ended very badly for both of them. You're right, KK. And sorry, I'm making I'm making some more coffee. It, it's a cold. Yes, day. fresh start. He yes, he is on probation. Well, and he's a felon, so I don't think that he can even own a pew pew, like at all. No, if you're a convicted felon, you're you are not allowed to have a, a a firearm. And then on top of that, if you if you try to fight for your rights to to get your rights back to to carry a, a concealed you know pew pew. Um, it, it takes a long time. It takes a very then, long time. He said he's not a felon, though. Sure, sure. People have pulled his background already. 
And um, I don't know who this message is from, so I think it's meant to be um, private on purpose. Yes. But there, they did claim that um, he threatened to pew pew them. So and those are text messages between people. So he's threatening. He's threatening people that he's going to pew pew them as well. What? Well, mm -hmm. What a class act. Rooster, you've been in his lives recently. While well, he's a complete con artist. Manders, we all know my receipts. Manders, it, it, Manders, you've been around long enough to know that we always come with receipts. But it's they want to they want to remain anonymous. And here for us, this this shows no inform no personal information. Okay, here I'll, I'll I'll put you in the big box. We come with receipts. If you've been here long enough. That's a text message that they are, it's covered for a reason. Yeah. To remain um, And then also, so here's all his, here's all his charges that are public. Hold on, let me, I got 40 seconds. Okay. Um, disturbing oh. the peace, guilty, disturbing the peace, fraud, yeah, I can make it longer. charge. I, I got you. Okay. Uh, I, I will make it longer. Let me see. How do I do this? He started threatening you over two weeks ago on TikTok and Reddit. Yeah, that seems to be his um, MO. Hold on, I'm about to make it longer for you. I just have to redo it. Let me do, we'll start there. I don't know how long you need, KK, but. Okay, it's a, it's you're, little, you're, go ahead. It's Yeah, it's a little bit blurry. I'm wondering if they have a, okay. Um, they have like a written out version, um, like a typed out version, but you could just see disturbing the peace, uh, deserving this peace, um, resisting officers, 18 months probation, battery, domestic violence, um, fraud, use of transactional card, that's a felony, um, involving stolen property, felony, 90 days in jail in 2012, uh, found guilty of disturbing the peace, a DV charge, ordered 26 weeks of DV treatment, um, DUI, second offense, felony, guilty, DUI, 15-month uh, probation, uh, almost $1,500 in fines, um, concealed weapon while intoxicated, 30 days jail, that's a misdemeanor, that's in 2023, um, 11, 12, okay, he has court coming up, it's sentencing for continuous violation, um, 9, 10, 24, violation of release conditions, warrant returned and served, July of 2011, disturbing the peace, DUI, driving without privileges, like this dude is not a good dude. We can all change, but he is, he is not showing change or concern. Well, especially now he's sending, he's telling people that he's going to pew pew them. And I just got an email. Let me snag it up. Yes, If Texas Tech asks for a box, give one because she talks to the wife. Okay, give me one second. I don't know who the final boss is or Vicky. Mm -hmm. They it might have been by accident that they requested a box. Flippy, they just showed him. Flippy, they just showed him. They just the showed him. Uh, oh. So, and also, so if you guys, so Rabid Squirrel Snark, that's on Reddit. There's screenshots from the last couple weeks. I mean, he's even said it on live, um, the threats recently. Like, he recently made threats to um, not the one. So, and that was two days ago. Two days and, ago? And, and, yeah. and not the one will have that on his YouTube because not yep. the one puts him up on, on uh, YouTube. So that's a guarantee. And then here, let me, I'll pull up the charges that are, that are actually like on paper and not just like written down for the people who, oh my gosh, cat, for the people who are still, um, and it's public information. Yeah. And th his name has been on his public TikToks. So I'm not doxing him. He has himself put his name out there. Yeah, it's over out and there. Over again. Disturbing the peace, theft by receiving processing stolen property, um, 
telecommunication line intentional destruction of line of instrument um, concealed while under the influence August 24th 2023 um, Oh, he had a warrant out of uh, from California. I don't know if this has been resolved or if he's running from that. Um, okay, in Idaho, there's two DVs. One listed as disturbing the peace with DV and then the telecommunication destruction in 2012. Um, I think he probably destroyed his ex's phone or something. Um, and then the one in 2008, he was sent again to court treatment. Um, there's 12 findings, 10 criminal, criminal, 10 criminal, and two civil, um, two of which are DUIs. So, oh, and here's like the typed out version. Like, and he quit his last job stocking shelves because he didn't like the hours. And he hasn't worked since then. He's been peddling the auto store job since September, September 4th. So September 4th, he has been lying about this job so they said uh one of those charges that you're talking about uh where tele the telecommunication whatever that was uh mm -hmm. left marks on his wife and broke a phone that that was in regards wow. to that so he is um oh and then here's some um so this was just this year a couple months ago he's online um on facebook marketplace selling stuff i don't think this has anything to do uh -oh. with um you no right you're now. good you i don't think show them anything on, you want me to show them on the big screen those uh here sure, oh, no. if you want to no no go ahead kk you already have them right there I'll, i'm about to pop you up there hold on okay let, let me give you 15 minutes i think that's there you go but this is him just a couple months ago selling stuff online do i don't know if this has anything to do well it doesn't have anything to do with the, like the stolen goods but he so 200 or best offer that was sold 800 or best offer that was sold um so this guy is literally raking in hundreds thousands of dollars the past couple months so 300 or best offer that one was sold um 300 that was sold um 600 that was sold and this was just like i said a few months ago and once again where yes betty that's where i'm showing the the information from the reddit this is directly from the reddit and all the people from reddit have sent me personally this information so i could download it and send it directly um to homie but all of this stuff hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars oh. I don't want to show that too much because his mom, um, rest in peace, did pass away. They were kind of um, like famous a little bit. They were kind of famous. So, I mean, I just I think that's pretty cool. So when he says he doesn't have family or friends, that's a lie. He does. They just. Yeah. And somebody was mentioning about them parts. Yeah. Uh, or parts and stuff of that nature or engines. Uh, when you you have like a d16 engine and you start buying custom parts for it um they are not cheap none of those parts are cheap and uh so the parts that he was selling because they were uh what kk was showing was sent to me mm -hmm. so uh those are not cheap parts he was building a crx he said the crx was totaled well oh, yeah these are brand new yeah so what I want to know is what happened that he totaled that CRX vehicle. So what his so his mom his mom did some um, his mom did some acting. Um, his mom did some acting. I don't want to show the obituary because it shows a lot of personal information, yeah, and I don't I don't want to do that. But um, she okay so they come from like a family of actors it might have been in minor things or major things but she also had like her own little um welcome in Lee. so his mom performed with the young america troupe at disneyland she was a singer and a dancer um she was she acted in several tv shows and a movie production including camelot um and then she made her own um then she went on to go open up her own little small business so, and then I seen something about his dad working with Ozzy or something. I don't want to give incorrect information, but they come from like, he comes from a good family line. 
So it just makes you think, okay, if he comes from this good family line, what happened to where nobody wants anything to do with him? And, and that's the thing is he got so used to living off of mom and dad that eventually when it was time for him to man up and, and do it on his own, uh, you know, he, he, he does not, he hasn't done it. You know, when it, when it's, when it's time to man up, it's time to man up. At the age of 18, you should already be start, you, you should start getting yourself established. Start looking into, you know, if you went to, if you're going to college or whatever the case might be, going to college, uh, getting a job, be established. Start establishing yourself. That way when you turn 21, you're good to go. But no, this guy got so used to living off of mom and dad that when it was time for him to do what he had to do, he still hasn't done it to this day because he's living off of vulnerable woman. Vulnerable women are taking care of this clown. And yes, I did call him a clown. He needs to join the circus. Go ahead, Kate. And I seen someone I seen someone put in the comments, um, he's he was a born actor. Absolutely. Absolutely he was a born actor. That that's literally where he came from. That's what he knows how to do. He this is what he specializes in. And what did he specializes do? in taking advantage of people. Uh, baby G, uh, he's a he's a complete con artist. That's what he, we wouldn't be talking about him. And KK has been covering covering him. Uh, beat it, you're okay. No need to apologize. Uh, here's the thing, he's he's a complete con artist. He's conning a lot of vulnerable women out there, lonely women, including elderly women. He's a complete con artist. He's a scammer. And he's depending on everybody. Uh, Baby G, let me ask you this. Let me play this video for you. And maybe Baby G, you could answer to us. If you're over there watching them, maybe you could answer to everybody here since you've been over there watching them. If we'll, Let me play this. Evening, everybody. I'm just making this video to let you know I'm going to go live here in a minute, and there are a lot of benefits for being a really good part of our group. A lot of good people in there. You can always sub. It's the best way to help support me long term. Uh, if you want to, uh by subscribing to him, it's the best way to support him long term. Out of his own mouth. Out of his own mouth. The best way to support him is by subscribing. What a clown. What are, And what are the benefits? We keep asking everybody, if you're new here, what would be the benefits of subscribing to him? He sits there and, and he begs and dry begs and he cons people out of money. They, they buy hundreds of, of subscriptions from him. Yeah, the, the stickers, that's it. I told you. What was that, Miss Homie? You're right, Miss Homie. He's still living outside of his means because he does not he does not work. He doesn't work. He lives outside of his means. If you're not working, Everybody else on TikTok and all the vulnerable women, the elderly uh, women that feel lonely are taking care of this clown. That's right. And I'm going to keep on calling him a clown. And if he doesn't like it, tell him to get in the box. He could come get in the box. He was. Come get in the box. When he's live streaming, how, how I was dragging him through the mud. Because, yes, I am going to drag him through the mud. You better believe. 
He has a scooter already, but it's broke down. It's probably broke down because of how he was driving it last night. Like, because it was working Vicky just fine last night. Stand. Vicky says he seems like a stand-up guy to most everybody except you. Because he's a complete car con artist. <laughs> <laughs> If you think this guy is a stand-up guy, you gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. There is, oh, okay, KK, there is no way. You cannot seriously think this guy is a stand-up guy. He's a complete con artist. They're like, except you. Everybody else sees him as a stand-up guy except you, Mexican homie. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. For the love of Jesus Cristo, you cannot make this up. How is he a stand-up guy? Look at his motel room. Yeah, if he's a stand-up guy, Lieutenant Dan is the, the best. What's the news on this guy? Uh, I already mentioned it. Complete con artist. Taking advantage of a lonely, vulnerable woman. Oh, now here we go with this. Uh, don't block that account. Do not block that account. I'm about to school somebody. Vicky says, he's a former Marine. Are you jealous? Where's his DD-214? Where is his DD-214? How he claims that he could not show his DD-214 be because they told him not to. You know how many people to shut people up have shown their DD-14 and all of a sudden, oh, he, he can't, he can't, uh, I can't show my DD-14, my DD-214 because they told me not to. You're a whole clown just like him. You're a whole clown. You can show it. You don't need to show the whole thing. He don't show it for a certain reason. He probably, he ain't got one. Why doesn't he, for the ones that have asked him over and over and over again, show it. Why doesn't he show it and then people will quit talking about it? You see what I'm saying? You're jealous because he's a former Marine. Maybe he's jealous because I'm an ex-convict. <laughs> I don't give a... Hey, I've always, always said, I don't give a shit. I'm an ex-convict. Come after me. For the love of Jesus, at least I could at least I could be honest with the community about it. I could at least be honest with the community about it. Were you in the Marines with Beth Osborne? This is wild. I'm jealous. Maybe he's jealous because I'm an ex-convict. I don't care. I don't care. For the love of Jesus Cristo. 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 I know he's not working. I know. Be honest. Okay, KK, no problem. Here, I'm going to pin your comment. Ms. Vicky said, who are you anyway to be to make these accusations. Show your proof of what you're saying about him. Vicky, we've been showing proof. We come with receipts. Miss Vicky Warner, we come with receipts and we've been showing them. And you know what? I'm not even going to take a picture of, of your bio because what I see in your bio uh, is pretty, uh, is disturbing. So I am not gonna uh, take a picture of your of uh, your profile because what I see in there is we talk about that situation as well. 
um, we, we bring awareness to those type of situations. So I'm not even going to go there with you. But I, I, I am telling you, we've showed receipts. And if you don't, if you don't like it, you don't have to be here. Go support him. Uh, on that now, now I'm not going to make a folder for her because of what I see her situation is. Yeah, Hope Marie. Hope Marie says I work for the VA. I've never seen a vet not proud to show proof of service. You're right. Yeah, I'm not going to uh I'm not going to do a folder for her for Christmas. And the reason is if you look at her bio, there's a certain type of situation going on there. And uh I take those situations very very seriously. Uh based on what's in her bio. So uh I will not put a uh a folder together for her because we talk about that and uh things of that nature. So um if you're not here for the receipts, I don't know what to tell you. You know, I, I won't go after her. You know, if she wants to support him, she could go over there and give give him all her money. And if you looked at if you looked at her her profile by clicking her picture, um, you'll understand why. Yeah, I'm gonna give her that type of grace. Uh, I I won't go after her. I I will not. And, and if everybody's seen uh, just by clicking on her picture, that, that'll tell you. So I, I'm not going to go after her. I, I, I just hope that people pay a lot more attention. Pay a lot more, more attention to, to what he's doing. Because at the end of the day, it's very easy to see and very easy to spot. Hey, KK. Okay. I'm back. I had. A, am I echoing or anything? No, no, you're good. You're good. Okay, okay. Just making sure. Yeah, I had a phone call. I had to take it really quick. Oh man, taking phone calls while we're doing a live stream. I know. <laughs> Being a good mom. Darn. Darn. <laughs> oh, how dare you? The audacity, KK. Um, it was Tammy. It was a lady named Heather. Uh, Heather had bought the um, the scooter the for this lovely con artist. person here. Well, yeah. I'm not even calling them <laughs> lovely at this um, <laughs> because th that's what I'm saying is the amount of vulnerable women that he targets and, and he targets women primarily. He 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 knows who to target, and, and Heather is the one that got him the scooter. The all those uh, subscriptions that were handed out. Uh, all that stuff, you, you see who he's targeting. He's not really targeting men because men look right through his nonsense. He said last night it was 1500 So you're going to believe? Yeah. You're going to believe if he's a complete con artist, how are you going to believe what he says? This scooter, let me turn this around so you don't see my crazy hair. Um, it's this one right here. And it was marked down from 2199 to 1549 So, um... After taxes and everything, it's still going to boil over to over $1,600. Absolutely. Oh, no, no. Uh, they said, uh, Pagian. What, what? I don't even know how to pronounce that name. Pagoni Pajo... Okay. Someone else. Someone else other than that person. Pagoni. Yeah. Uh, Pagian something and look if i i'm not gonna butcher that name people come at um, me for the, the the most ridiculous things and we're over here trying to do the right thing Betty, yeah. his his scooter could have been damaged last night because he was driving inebriated on live what seemed to be inebriated online this is a blatant lie <laughs> um it's just a blatant lie you can't make uh, this stuff up. Yeah. You, you, and like the actual remember. proof is all on here. Like actual, um, like his charges. He, you can, I don't ask for anything. I don't, I, I don't ask for nothing, but here, here, here's two posts. Let me show you. Here's two posts. 2,700 people, please send a dollar. 600 people, send a dollar. Um, uh, 
What is that then? Oh yeah, Lisa Marie um, is his the story about how his mortgage, whatever, all that stuff happened. He's he's a liar. He didn't pay. He did not pay his payment. He was squatting there, and that's why he lost it. Because for someone to send three separate payments, three, and them all be lost. Mm, nice try, wrong guy. Definitely I've heard not. that story. I've heard that story before, KK. I heard that story before about checks being lost and stuff like that. Uh, mm -hmm. Tara, Tara, the other beggar, the other scammer. Oh, she, she, maybe the, he's been watching her for a bit and, and, you know, the beggars like to share stories. Yes, come, uh, Opera, a c complete fabrication. Thou also, if... If he was honorably discharged, if, so if he went and if he was in the Marines, okay, and he was medically discharged, like he's been claiming, or honorably discharged, why can't he get benefits? Why can't he get, why can't he get benefits? Like, he reminds we me all of, should be asking these questions. He reminds me of peaceful analogy. If yes, you've been watching. Absolutely. It, that's a perfect description as to who who he reminds us of his peaceful analogy. Sorry, KK, go ahead. No, you're good. And then, um, so, you know, he, he definitely got a couple hundred bucks um, yesterday as far as payments. And then he's about to get a really fat payout um, come, what, the 14th or 15th for his for his subs. He has money. He has money, but yet he's always asking for more. Like, one night he collected over $1,300. $1,300 for his storage. But yet he's still continuously asking for money for the storage or money for his hotel room when he's just racking it and racking it. When you was in, you had to be in for a certain amount of time before you got benefits. Okay, I gotcha. And see, I don't know very much about that at all. Um, but he claims that, I mean, he likes to claim that he, he served for, for quite some time. But yet he, he entered and then, what, like a year later, he was he got all those charges? Yeah, he, he has a lot of stories that... And, and, like, like me and KK and many other, not the one so many people have said about him. The ones that are, this is the first time on this platform that we're bringing awareness, but KK has been bringing awareness about him and so does not the one. I don't know how many other people, but we say it all the time. He, he, he knows how to put out that poor me pitter patter story. Um, and he takes advantage wow. of a lot of vulnerable women. Yeah, Quick. Nelly, who is 19 to 20 years old, paid for his storage and tried to help him a bunch. And then I also want to say, so so even if you if you go to basic, just the mere fact of you going to basic and just trying to, you know, help our country, I, I'm a, like, I'm not saying nothing bad about the people who do that. Like if it, you go and you try, but it's just too much, like I, I still respect you. It's like someone said it, it's his laziness now it's his lies now like if that were if that happened oh, 20 years ago then then just tell the truth about it like hey i went you know i got in some trouble and you know i wasn't able to stay and stick through it say that instead of lying about it either way like if you even try i give props to you i respect you for that i respect him for trying but I don't respect him because now he's lying. And even that plaque that he has, um, I don't have any proof. This is just what I'm assuming, what I guess. Um, I think he just kind of made that up. Uh, somebody, so I was looking into the plaque. It is said that it was given to him as a memento. It, it, it is said, and I've seen that floating around quite a bit, that it's a mom memento. So it's not an official plaque. It was made for him. So uh, oh, I, I've, been, I've been seeing that all over because if you really look at the plaque, th there is no signature here. I got it. 
I, I, I got the plaque right here. Let me grab it. On that plaque, yeah, it's a memento. It, it, it's not... It's not like an official plaque. Look at the, the size of the picture. Just look at the size of the picture, right? Yeah, no it doesn't seal even, either. It doesn't even fit where, where the picture is supposed to go. You kind of see what, and it's not even signed. The, the And would you consider this stolen valor or since it's, well, I mean, he's claiming that he got that from the military, but he didn't. It's just a memento. So would you claim, w would you say that that is stolen valor? Or, I, I mean, it kind of uh, teeters on the edge. It kind of teeters on the edge for me. I, I don't, uh, to be honest with you, uh, I don't know much about that. Uh, that's, the, that's the one thing. He... he he did serve, but I don't know. I mean, his story's all over the... We're talking about Rabbit Squirrel. Yeah, it's, it's very... It's teetering on the edge for me personally. Um, I, I saying, feel like the lie is... that The lie makes it stolen valor, but he did... He, he, he did, did serve. serve. Yeah, so... Um, that's the thing. Uh, I, I'm not. I'm not going to say stolen valor because they said if he served, from what I heard, they said if he did serve, is not considered stolen valor. But that's that's that plaque is not authentic. It, it's not authentic at all. Um, okay. Uh, just a plaque. Are just saying, a plaque. So it's just it's just a, a memor like a memorial wise plaque. Girl, if you do not quit yeah, somebody, like I said, it, it was a memento. It, it, it was a, a memento type of, you know, it was given to him, but. A Timu plaque. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to throw stolen valor out there. Yeah, I'm not going to throw stolen valor out there. Um, just, I don't want to throw that out there on my own. Uh, some people have different opinions. Yeah, I seen that. I, I, I seen that. Yeah, it's not an official plaque. It, it doesn't have a seal, uh, and and I am I am working on gathering some more information, uh, some documents to see if he was dishonorably discharged or honorably discharged. So uh, we're working on that right now. We're working on with some people. I don't ever mention names. Uh, we are gonna. We are working with some people that will be able to get us more information. Whether it was dishonorable or honorable, and we'll we'll get the information. We will, and then if we find out it was dishonorable, he has a lot of explaining to do. That's what we're gonna do. Oh, someone said he was never in the military. It was his dad's badge that he showed quickly. I'm just saying what the comment said. I don't have any proof to back that up because I don't know. Um, I've been trying to find everything I possibly can about him the past couple of days, but it's um, he's very fresh and brand new and people are just now starting to cover him. So individuals who lie about serving in the military or the extent of service. Okay, viral. So what, what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait together, uh, get some more information back to see if it was dishonorable, honorable, or whatever the discharge was. That, that's what we're, that, that's what I want to know. Because if he's out here peddling the, these stories and continue continues to con people out of money, especially the vulnerable woman. And we find out that what he's saying, well, we already know a lot of what he's saying is a complete fabrication. Then, then what is he going to, what is he going to say? Um, he'll just say we made it up like, like they all do. Cause that's, yeah. that's what they all do. It's made up. It's fake. They created that document. He'll never tell the truth and look, and I know you homie and me as well. If he was honorably discharged, you will say it. 
I will say it as well. I will make sure that the truth is put out there either way. But if he was dishonorably discharged and he's been lying about it this whole time, we're also going to make sure that's put out there and everybody knows, especially the Reddit. Uh, like I I've said it before and I'll say it again. That Reddit has been so helpful. The people who've reached out to me, um, the people who have sent me their screenshots so I could forward all them to you. I am so appreciative of, of the Reddit. Like, for real, 90, probably 95, 96, maybe even 98% of all the information that I personally re received and sent to you was all from them. I'm super thankful for them. Yes, and I give credit as well, uh, KK, where credit is due. Uh, everything that has been sent to me has been from either people on Reddit or uh, a few others, um, but I give credit where credit is due. And now I got to do my part and try to gather uh, that information from somebody that that we know uh, that, that could get us some more of the military information. So I'm going to do my part at least to get that information from the people that are able to obtain that information from the military records. And uh, we'll find out if he was um why he was discharged and we're gonna find out we will find out oh and then just to kind of put the cherry on top of everything um i've seen it several times in the comments but i'll go ahead and say it out loud he doesn't he doesn't pay child support yeah there's an open uh uh, uh i pulled that court case uh it is it was opened so department of uh and department of h and w child support services uh petitioner versus david pets um uh, it was the filing date was september 4 2024 for child support so i did i was able to grab that up as well so yeah, if he's not paying child support and collecting all this money on TikTok and, and, and scamming people out of money, refuses to support his child, yeah. But he's getting all this money off of TikTok, right? And, and he has, let me see. You know, we come with receipts around here. There you go. His Amazon wish list is not very big. But he has a, a PayPal, he has a Venmo, he has a Cash App. I, I, I told you we come with receipts over here. We're not we're not sitting here messing around. No, oh, wow. Where's the receipts? You ain't showing nothing. It's all right there on the screen. He has three payment apps and and a small Amazon. Yeah, and a Discord. It's right there at the bottom, not the one. You're right, not the one. And see, not the one is also bringing awareness on him. KK is also doing the, the, the thing. Yes, he does have multiple devices. Hey, Brother Whisper. Look, the majority of these beggars, scammers, and dry beggars, they always have several devices. Why isn't he paying his child support, though? Or at least sending, like, what he can, like... Hey, you know, I've ate today. My room's paid. I have my room paid for the next couple of days. You know, I have 15 extra bucks. You know, that might not seem like a lot, but it shows that you are trying. He is trying to do that. He is trying to help take care of his child. So, I mean, at least try. Yeah, baby. He, he claims his wife doesn't want it. That's a bunch you know? of baloney. <clears throat> And, and I, I can't speak for his wife because I don't know her, nor have I spoke with her, but any and all help with it. Raising a kid is hard. Expensive. Raising a kid is hard and expensive. Yes. So that 15 extra dollars could help with, you know, dinner whenever they have a, a game, like a, a football game, baseball game, whatever the, the child does. I don't know. Um, what about the tent, Lovely? Sorry, comments going yeah. fast. Yeah, we talked about we, we talked about the young lady that that went out there and took the tent and, and did all that. Look, he he's in a nice hotel. 
Here, I'll, I'll, I'll show his picture. He's in a nice hotel. Tell me he's not. Tell me he's not in a nice hotel. Instead of, look, KK said it best. Any amount of money that he sends for his child, something is better than nothing. Something is better than nothing. Because every dollar counts. Every dollar. Who pays for his hotel? TikTok supporters. The vulnerable. Sherry Lynn. Go ahead. Sherry Lynn, he absolutely mistreated his wife. He has several DV charges, several disturbing the peace charges. Um, I don't know if it's his wife that he did it to or like an older girlfriend um, of sorts, but he he was charged with a, a DV and then like breaking a communication device. So probably a cell phone. So he's, he's violent. He definitely mistreated her. And I don't even have to talk to her to know that. All I have to do is look at the court records. No, he doesn't and have a job. No, he's Kaki. No, uh, it's been verified that they're, they're looking into trespassing him off of uh, all O'Reilly Auto Parts properties because he keeps claiming that uh, about him having a job and, and all this. He applied, but O'Reilly's is looking at getting them trespassed off their properties. They want nothing to do with them. Nothing. So he needs to quit telling people that he has a job at O'Reilly's because they are looking at trespassing him. And it sucks to be him. It really does. Yes, Kel. Um, he did leave marks on his wife. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Uh, they both had marks on them, but he was the main aggressor. Absolutely. Um, he... Um, you know, there is such thing as like defensive wounds. So if he came after her and then she went after him, I do not. Uh, Lydia, uh, I have the, the messages, uh, but the person wants to remain anonymous, so I will not show it. But I do have the messages. Look, if I say I have something, best believe I have something. That's a promise. Everybody knows that has been around in the community since we started. If I say I have messages or I have screenshots or whatever the receipts might be, trust and believe that we have it. And if somebody says, please, I don't want you to mention my name. I want to remain anonymous. You better believe I'm going to keep them anonymous. So everybody knows that when I say I have something, I, I, I have it. I haven't covered his mods yet, but best you already know I will be building folders. I'm going to put folders together for his moderators. I am going to put folders together for them. That's what they get for Christmas for Christmas. His moderators get folders. Like I said, I'm like Oprah. I am like, like Oprah, you get a folder, you get a folder. I'm handing out folders with files for Christmas. And I do also want to point out, um, I have a pinned post on my page and it has a page that is tagged on the actual post. There is someone who's been slightly covering him, posting screenshots, posting his, his records, and it's also showing some of his biggest enablers on there. So go click on that and then, you know, go to that page and look, look at that page. Also the Reddit. Um, and then of course the TikTok beggar Reddit, they have receipts, they have clips. I've been streaming him for the past, um, maybe, a, maybe a week now, maybe a week. And yeah, he okay. Someone said he switched hotels. Yeah, probably because people found out where he was at. Because whenever he goes outside, especially last night, he really wasn't that careful. He was he was pretty inebriated, and he showed all of his surroundings. And when I said I'm handing out folders, homie Claus is coming to town. Uh, yeah, look, uh, this is what I'm doing. As a matter of fact, is I'm building folders. I'm playing stuff like this. <laughs> I'll play music like this. Because I'm building folders. I'm, I'm playing music like this. You know I am. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a 
one horse so good sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride. I'm going to even wrap so, them somehow. Go ahead, Kate. I'm going to wrap those. TikTok for, TikTok for Texas said he wasn't drinking. He's my friend. I never said that he was drinking for sure. Um, he is inebriated. He was inebriated last night. I have I have the stream on my on my YouTube. If you want to go back and rewatch it, um, he, something was going on with him. Something was going on. Um, and I think even on Reddit. There might be some close-up screenshots of when he um, turned around his camera and there was something chilling on the desk, but I don't know. And and if he that's your friend, drinking water, he helped you with your refrigerator. After he went live. Okay, uh, TikTok for Texas. If he's not scamming people, explain to us what he's doing. Uh, KK, you wanna? So uh, let, let me do this. TikTok for Texas. Has he asked for anything on TikTok? Answer me that. TikTok for Texas. Has he asked for any money on TikTok? He's, he, KK, do me a favor. Because TikTok yes. for Texas says he is just socializing on TikTok. Could you bring up those screenshots, those two, mm -hmm. where he's asking know. for money? Where he's asking for money. My YouTube is the same name as here, KKRista21. There's also a red icon on my page that you can go and click, and it'll take you right to it. It's completely free. Okay. Here, I'm going to put you in the big box. Hold on. Uh, let me. My follow yeah. should be on. Like, you guys should be able to follow me. I don't know why you can't. So he's um, just socializing, right? What does that say? Uh, let them see it, KK. That way, he just, he literally just talks about whatever. What does that say? There's the one. If, if 600, 600 people, if 600 people sent a dollar, I could get a roof over my head as he's in a hotel room. So $600. Oh, you can't click on me because, okay, I gotcha. And then here, if 2,700 people cash at me, I could get a, I could get transportation to work and TikTok for Texas. He might, he might be good to you. He might be, but the way that he has that I've seen that he is harassing these women and then making fun of someone, they were all making fun of someone who got gifted a sub and who was upset about it. They didn't want that associated with her name because she didn't want anything to do with him like that. She was just watching and she was upset about it. And then they made fun of her for that over and over again and i have that on live i have it on live that they were making fun of him so they were making fun of this this lady that came in and she came she in a box upset. she came in a box over here yeah and she was upset and they were just bashing her yeah bashing uh, her exactly and they were making fun of her because i was watching the live stream i was yeah, watching and, the live you stream. know does a good person not take care of their kids does a good person take advantage of people does a good person harass people does a good person threaten to pew pew somebody does a good person um incite violence on their significant other does a good person break their significant other's phone does the this person um get several dv charges and dui charges no i think not he is very violent TikTok for texas here hold on let me grab it he is violent he is very violent uh flippy said where's the proof of threats though uh okay could you want to show that that one uh when you get a chance kk okay, okay, do you want to show where what you showed where the, those messages where he threatens to pew pew somebody that way Absolutely. Flippy, that way flippy could quit asking where it is where is the proof you can show them so this right here yeah this right here already so battery domestic violence disturbing the peace disturbing the peace disturbing the peace um resisting or obstructing officers tell them telecommunication line intentional destruction of line or instrument just well, yeah what was the bottle he had last night in his live 
What was that? It was water? Why would he lie about what happened to the house? Um, they said water. Um, oh. <laughs> oh, water. Okay, maybe. No, he's not working. It's been verified that he's not working, and O'Reilly's is about to trespass him off of their, uh, their property. Yeah. And and they, they uh they're gonna try to get him trespassed off of all O'Reilly properties, not only the 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 certain one. They're they're gonna look at getting him trespassed off all of O'Reilly properties because of his nonsense. Mm hmm. Oh, and let me go. Let me go find the threats because obviously this person is probably scared um, and doesn't want their information out there. Yes. So let me go find this. Yeah, that message that you showed us. And of course, you know, people that support him are not going to believe until you actually show them. And then they're still going to be all like, if they really, really um, support him, they're going to be all like, hey. No, Dave is not. Dave is not. He doesn't have a job. Oh. Let me see. What is it? Let me see why they want a box. I don't see them in the request. Oh, yeah, th there it is. Let me see. I got them up in a box. Hey, Big Daddy 21. Uh, they're still loading on my end. Hello? Okay. Hey, man, I got a couple of questions for you about this dude. Go ahead. So uh, I've been following this dude probably for like a hot minute. Uh, so is it true or false that he uh, really has a job? Because if he does, then I'd like to put him on blast on every platform. No, he doesn't. Uh, it's been verified. Uh, we have somebody that that worked at O'Reilly's, and they also have connections uh, uh, high up there uh, at O'Reilly's. He's not in the system. He was never hired. He put an application, but he didn't uh, pass his background. So, no, he does not have a job at O'Reilly's. They are looking at getting him trespassed off uh, O'Reilly's properties. Mm-hmm. Completely false. He's been using that se since September 4th. Um, I believe yeah, he did apply. Yeah, I follow him. I've been following him. And uh, for a long time, it was always he was waiting on something from corporate, and then he could uh, start his job. Uh, no, it's all false. It's all false. Flippy. If, if you don't, I always come with receipts, Flippy. And as a matter of fact, I'm getting tired of your nonsense. Go back over there. Hold on. Let me do this for Flippy. Oh, with your three followers, really? Man, hold on. Give me one second. All right. Just like that, Flippy, you're gone. You want to go over there and support him? Do it. But Flippy, uh, you've been escorted out to the next uh, live stream. Uh, we're not going to tolerate your nonsense. Sorry about that, Big so Daddy. Go ahead. No, you're good. Uh, so what about his house? Does anyone have any true information about his house? Like, because I know he said uh, that Mr. Cooper uh, sowed the deed out and under him. So, I mean, if you just think about so I'm not trying to be facetious or like sarcastic, but he has told this story several different times and it the story changes ever so slightly or more information is added. Um, so if you made a payment to something three separate times and they lost all three payments, but you had proof of said payment, don't yeah. you think there would have been a process to kind of figure that out? If the money did in fact come out of his account, there would be a paper trail. Well, right. he's saying that it just disappeared out of thin air. And in my opinion, it's a complete fabricated story because they're not gonna lose not one not two, but but three payments that they're just going to magically disappear. That is a completely fabricated story. Uh, I, I don't believe that one bit. Um, at the end of the day, he, he could sit there and manipulate people uh, that really believe that story. But remember, he targets women and elderly women. You don't see him really targeting uh, men too much. Uh, no, uh, most of the people, uh, I was actually in there one night when uh someone gifted like uh it, it was probably like 200 subs to his channel um and yeah it was a woman and, and like the woman bought him the scooter and, and here's my look at it you know 
I don't mind helping somebody if they truly need help because, you know, I, I've been in the situation of being homeless before when I was 18, get kicked out of home. But, you know, the the whole begging, uh, I don't believe in that. And I don't believe if you're truly not in a bind, you shouldn't be taken from others. And I agree I, with you. Uh, I got sent some screenshots and I'm going to I'm going to take a deeper dive into they're saying it was foreclosed on and auctioned off. So, yeah. so why, why in the world you get foreclosed because you don't make payments? Let, let's call it for what it is. Everybody right. knows that. Anybody that owns a house, anybody that looks into, a, you know, uh, uh, purchasing properties, whatever that you know, there's people that buy foreclosed homes all the time. If it was foreclosed on, you didn't make the payments there, buddy, Mr. David. You, you didn't make the payments. Let, let's call it for what it is. And no, three payments are not going to be just magically lost because it doesn't happen like that. And Rock and Robin, so the women are absolutely being targeted. Uh, they, Yes, they are throwing money at him, but it's because of his manipulative stories, the woe always me, the, the victim mentality, the I didn't do anything wrong, I'm just a victim of all these bad circumstances. Um, no, you're, you're good, Cricket. Bigwood, you're good. Yeah, it's not, this isn't this, this has nothing pertaining to that poor squirrel and raccoon that was taken and ultimately euthanized. That pissed no, me just, off, but that's a whole other deal. Yeah, that's okay. just his name. That's his yeah. name. But he, he absolutely targets, targets women, 100%. And if you guys can't find his TikTok, well, he came in here and he was probably blocking away. He, he absolutely knows what he's doing. Um, and then after you give to him, I've heard that he harasses people um, constantly uh, and then trash talks them whenever they, you know, speak up or stand up for themselves. And that's and, exactly and, what happened the other night. I seen it live. And, and here's the other thing. He was telling people. He was telling people that he has talked to me and that we're on good terms. I, I never talked to this man, not once. So I went into his live stream. Not once did I um, talk to him. Oh, yeah. And the other day he said he claimed he was at work. But once again, um, he, he, he didn't work. He went to the storage shed and he went and got a haircut. He was not at work because for one, well, he did all that stuff. So how, you, how can you work nine to five? and also go do all that stuff and then get home and then go get directly online. Um, you can't, um, well, and then for two, we've got confirmation from O'Reilly's that he did not. Look, and here, uh, I got a screenshot. I got a screenshot. The, this is from the O'Reilly's where they are able to pull up his information. They pull up employee information uh, for whoever works at O'Reilly's Here's a screenshot. They just sent it over uh, to the email. They they punched in his name on the O'Reilly's where where uh, they they get employee information. No results found. <laughs> DJ one hundred and one. So if he's still <laughs> sending you fund requests on Cash App, report his Cash App account and block him on Cash App. But that, cause that's what he does. That's happened to you. That's happened to several other people. Once you send once, he will just keep asking and asking and asking. And it becomes borderline harassment, especially for some of the women. So I guess my main question is, I wonder how, so everybody knows that I guess when he first started live streaming, he was, uh, er, you know, he was at the tent and what, or whatever. Thank you, like toxic. That. Um, so I wonder how he's still staying in this motel room. I know he had to move from one motel room because he said it was getting too expensive. Uh, and now he's supposedly in another one. So I'm just wondering who's paying for that because so TikTok now that I know supporters. for sure he's not working, it, it just amazes me somebody would just keep paying for this person. They don't even know a motel room. Um, just Big because. Daddy, so, sorry to cut you off. Uh, not the one says that he's now saying he doesn't work there or somewhere else and won't say sure because we're showing the screenshots right now of them looking him up and, and this is uh an o'reilly's uh system 
that accounts for all O'Reilly's locations. So he thinks this is just one location that, that they're looking for uh, for him to be an employee at at a certain O'Reilly's. No, this is a system built for O'Reilly's altogether. <laughs> And he's saying, no, I don't work. I don't work at that one. Come, we're showing, we're, we're coming with receipts and all of a sudden, no, uh, I don't work. You better calm down. You better calm down, rabbit squirrel. Go ahead, Kate. Yeah, so it's, no, you're okay. <clears throat> it's super easy to go on tickleap.com and type in his name, rabbit squirrel two, and go through and scroll through all the money he's made. It's public. It's public information. We don't have bank information, uh, but the people who have helped him um, and are, you know, and now have been harassed or have stepped away, um, I'm sure they have screenshots. They have proof of all the money he sent. I mean, someone literally bought him a $1,600 scooter, sent out all these subs, like, you know, the, that those gifts on TikTok are real money. Um, one night he gathered up $1,300 for his storage. Thirteen hundred dollars. Like how? Uh, how much yeah, is your storage unit? Tickleap.com. I'll type it in the chat. Tickleap.com, and then you go there and you can look up literally anybody online, anybody on TikTok. Type in their name, and it'll come up of everything that they've made over the past. Like I think it goes back sixty days, maybe. Uh, I've, I've been able to go uh, further back, I believe. Okay. Yeah, I wasn't quite for sure exactly how far it goes back. Yeah, tick leap and then just um, put in their name, their username, and it'll all show up. Yep, everybody. I'm already on it. So Yeah, I pulled it up earlier. He's made several hundred dollars, and I, I know he has a backup account, but I don't know what that is. Uh, so he has rabbit what? squirrel too and then he has uh, another one it, it's easy to spot so um he has 11 dollars, 19 16 49 18 2 44 70 27 24 33 64. on the 23rd of october he made 181 dollars that was just in one day october 23rd 181 then 44 82 73 41 October 18th, he made $123 on, uh, that's not including subscriptions. That's just TikTok gifts. That's not including his cash app. That doesn't include any payments sent to all his payment apps. Yep, because I assure you, I promise you, if you ask to see his payment apps, he won't show you. He won't show you, in which I'm not saying that he has to show you, but... I assure you, he he's got a lot of money these past couple months. A somebody, lot of money. Somebody asked, "Why does it matter how much he makes?" Because he's a con artist. That's why. And if you want to continue supporting that con artist, as a matter of fact, this is what we always say: if you want to continue supporting somebody who refuses to work, somebody that lies to everybody, including about that job, go. And empty out your bank account. Send them all your money. Cash in your 401k. I know, Miss Homie. Miss Homie, uh-uh. Cash in your 401k. And give them all your money. All of it. Yes. He has an ex-wife. He has an ex-wife. Well, soon to be ex-wife because he's violent and he has incited violence on his ex-wife several times left marks on her broke a telephone he's he does not have a job he does not have a job let me say this i, I know I, I just got an email see there's people that are on this yeah he has no job at o'reilly's that's a lie that there's a lot of people that are sick and tired of him taking advantage of people and taking advantage of vulnerable women um I have his uh, I have his lo uh, his probation location where he reports to. I do. It was just sent to me. He continues down this road. There's going to be people. 
there's going to be people that are going to be reporting to, to his probation officer. I'm just, I'm putting it out there. You continue doing this, David, rabbit squirrel. There's going to be people in the community that are sick and tired of seeing you take advantage of vulnerable people that they're going to contact your, your probation officer. Oh, he laughed. He said he laughed. Did you see that the other night? Yeah. Go ahead, KK or uh, Big Daddy. Yeah, and he's a felon. And, you know, we all, we, we all make mistakes. We all, you know, can do better as human beings. But right now he is a felon, and he – he brags about having a pew pew. He brags about, oh, if someone comes knocks on my door, I'll just pew pew them through the door. You know, what if that someone by mistake comes up and knocks on the door and he pew pews them through the door? He shouldn't have a pew pew because he is a felon. He, he is a violent offender several over several times he has a dui doesn't take care of his kids um several dv charges like this guy is not the guy who he portrays online he's not yeah the, the, uh, look this gets deeper and deeper and so this is the first live stream that we have held on this platform we're going to do it again, but next time, next time we, uh, we bring awareness about them. I should have the reason why he was discharged from the military. And, and we're going to find out if he's lying about that too. We will find out next time that we bring awareness about him. I will have got contacted back as to why he was discharged from the Marines, and we're going to find out. Yeah, um, Melina, I think that's how you say your name. I'm so sorry if I if I butchered that. But yes, he, he claimed he was medically discharged. But if he was medically discharged, why isn't he getting benefits? He, he asked, entered in to uh, the Marine Corps, and then I think like a year later, he had all these charges, like somebody, violent charges. Somebody asked if they could speak with us. You would have to message either me or KK. If yeah, you want you to can, speak with us, uh, just message us, either me or KK. And um, that's the best way to communicate with us. Go ahead, KK, or Big Daddy. Big Daddy has been sitting in the box. Uh, anything else you would like to say, Big Daddy? Uh, do y'all know anything about um, – does anyone know the truth? Like, Because I know, like I said, I've been in his lives pretty much every night. Uh, I know he states that his father-in-law, well, soon-to-be ex-father-in-law and mother-in-law, put the apartment in their name or house, whatever they got for them. Uh, in their name. So I wonder with now that I know all this information, cause I've been in y'all's life for almost 30 minutes now. Um, I wonder if that all falls back to, uh, him being domestic violence towards his wife. A, a lot of it falls back on when you get an apartment or you get a house, whatever the case might be, it's gonna, you know, everywhere you go nowadays, a majority of the places, uh, they do background checks, credit checks. It's just how the world works now. But still, it doesn't. It, it's no excuse as to why um, he can't better himself. It's no excuse as to why he wants to continue to lie to people and manipulate people and take advantage of women and, and elderly women. There's no excuse behind it at all. I'm going to call it. For uh, yes, Tracy. Um, this is recorded all on my YouTube. Um, but uh, Amaris, I think is your name. So. So there are felon friend, felon friendly places that will hire him. Yes. Um, there's also programs that will help you rent, um, that will help you get on your feet if you are a felon and if you want to become like, you know, if you want to do better. There's absolutely programs um, that will help him do that. But yeah, there are some places that won't let you that won't let you work there because you're a felon, especially yeah, I, if you're a violent offender. I don't look. I don't want people to use being a felon. You, 
as an excuse for anything. Let, let, let me call it for what it is. Your construction hires felons all the time. Warehouses hire felons. Don't let this individual try to make it seem like he can't get a job because he's a convicted felon. That's a bunch of baloney. There's so many felony.